this is Freddie with Freddie Can Fly, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a new product to cross the workbench. Um, this is the, it's made by XGuard RC, it's called the X Glow Pro Igniter. So, for you uh, nitro enthusiasts, this is basically a glow ignition system. Um, if you guys are used to things like the Align 2 in 1 um, switch glow, right? Um, where you can use your radio, your transmitter to toggle on the glow ignition. You've got a push button sequence, alarms, all kinds of uh, fun gizmos and whatnot. Well, the uh, the X Glow Pro is supposed to do all that and then some. This thing will basically make you coffee in the morning and rub your back. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm new to it. You know, again, I'm learning how to use it. So I wanted to make the video series. So um, this is kind of. There's really no way for me to do an out of the box. Uh, mine showed up in this fashion. Now you can order it as is, and then it's got some of the uh, the, the additional items, things like RPM sensors, uh, your remote pickup cables, things like that. And we'll get into these as we do the different configurations. Uh, but essentially, there's four different ways in which you can set this up, install it, and program it to operate the uh, well I guess basically to do what it is that you want it to do right so everybody's got something a little bit different out there that they're trying to achieve um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a four-part series and we're gonna we're gonna tackle all those obstacles so in today's video we're gonna be looking at what they call option a um, which is your basic uh, setup for this and then we'll follow on to option B C and D and, and, and so forth and so on so um, just real quick, I guess I can pop this open. We'll kind of do a little bit of a out of the bag, I guess we'll call it. It's not really a box, but let's pull it out. I mean, the packaging's nice. I mean, I really enjoy it. Looks really good. I'm actually probably going to keep these and use them for, yeah, I don't know, spare parts or something. But So here we go. We've got right here the X Glow Pro Igniter. Um, just the basic system, right? You've got your ground which this will go to your motor, and then you've got your alligator clip, and this will go on the glow plug, and you've got the system. Now, of course, this is kind of like the bare bones kit, if you will. If you get just this, that's what you get. You're going to have to find a way to provide power and do all the other things. But for configuration A, which we're going to take a look at the manual here in just a quick moment, um, that's really all you need, to be fair. So, in my, in, my, uh, in my defense, in order to make this video work for you guys, um, I'm going to assume that you are nitro flyers. This is a helicopter related video. So I've got my nitro engine right here. Actually, ooh, ha, right there. And I'm going to be using this at this point in time as a ground because we are going to have to connect a ground to it. So um, I've got that out now. If it's already installed into your model and you are uh, you just happen to be installing the x -Glow Pro, you know, take in mind your setup is going to look a little bit different than mine. Um, but for setup A, I'm just going to go ahead and use a two-cell pack to power the device. Again, if you're using um, a full-built machine, you could um, go ahead and use an open port, an open power port on your fly barless system or your, your receiver and, and patch it into here to provide the power needed. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use a pack. Um, I've got a brand new unopened glow plug. That way we can demonstrate the way the glow ignition system works. And uh, for configuration A, that's about it. So real quick, guys, take a jump over to the manual with me real fast. And you can see here, okay, so we've got the X-Glow Pro emblem and setup. I love it. It looks really good. This is basically what you and I just looked at. So let's kind of scroll down. Again, guys, um, if you want to read through the manual, please feel free to do so. But here's kind of what I want to pay attention to, right? We've got A, B, C, and D. We're focusing today on A, simplest installation. They also have it to where it can be switched on by radio switch. That one I'm very excited about. That'll be the next video. Um, they have anti-hot start, which is pretty exciting. Now that's a good feature to have because if you're a nitro guy and you've ever accidentally started the motor with too much throttle, it is very dangerous and you could potentially lose your entire lower half. So. I love the anti-hot start, very cool. And then they have this one here with anti-chicken dance, I guess they call it. And that has something to do with something RPM related. Um, I'm not familiar with the term. However, once we get to option D, I should have all the relevant information for you guys. So, 
Um, and then just kind of moving forward, um, it, it does detect when the glow plug is fouled up or when it's no good. Um, and all kinds of different features, guys. So as we go through this series, you guys are going to learn a lot about the X-Glow Pro, why you should get one, and uh, why it's so damn cool to have. So with that being said, um, let me see if there's anything else we need to really worry about. We're going to be focusing right here, okay? So simple, uh, simple installation. This is option A. This is right out of the box. Um, if you guys want to just order the basic kit, install it into your machine and get to igniting your glow plugs this is the option we're going to want to use and i'm going to demonstrate it for you here but let's look at the manual so essentially we've got the unit and it shows here that uh, the, the the bottom plug which came factory uh, installed if you will you've got your alligator clip and you got your ground now you can connect the ground in several di uh, several different ways um, you can use the back plate of the motor which is what I'm going to do just for the demonstration purposes. But, I mean, obviously there's four different screws. So wherever you want to mount this unit, um, just make sure that you ground it to the motor. And then, again, you'll put your alligator clip onto the glow plug, which then fastens into the front of the motor. That's all pretty common sense there. Um, for my demonstration, again, I'm going to plug the battery straight in. But, again, if you're providing power to a BEC... Um, or your fly barless control unit, you can do a patch cable into there, which will then provide power into the system. Um, but since we're just looking at the simplest installation, right, just going right out of the box, I'm just going to kind of do it this way. And then we'll take a look at how everything works. Uh, let's see. Buh, 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 buh. They do have a programming section. Um, we'll get into that at a later time. And then we've got all the different configurations as well. So... Since this particular video is around installation A, let's go ahead and get started. So jump back over to the bench with me real fast. And I've got everything laid out. Okay, so what I'm basically going to do, guys, real fast is I'm going to go ahead and get my ground installed onto the motor. Again, if this were in a helicopter, just pop off one of these back screws, uh, whichever one you prefer based on where you want to mount the system. You know, if it's mounted over here on this side or this side, get your ground on. Now, I'm going to leave the glow plug out of the motor just so I can demonstrate that the glow plug is actually igniting. Um, but in, in most cases, right, your glow plug would be in the header of the motor, so you could go ahead and clip on your alligator plug. But um, I'm not going to actually be starting this, so I don't want the glow plug, uh, glow plug to cause any issues so let me get all that done guys let's come back and let's see how the system works alrighty guys so what I've done at this point in time is I've got my little alligator clip onto a brand new glow plug um, just make sure that it's it's fastened in there on the there's little little grooves and little notches that are on there just make sure it's on there securely take in mind guys this will not ignite unless the circuit is complete so we're going to have to contact the case of the motor at some point which I'm going to demonstrate that for you now it does specify in the manual as well um, that this this bottom port so actually let me go ahead I'm going to unplug this real fast just so I can show you so the bottom port of the system you'll see that there's two different uh, rows of pins in which we can plug in items and also on the casing, it has it engraved. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's actually hard for me to even see. But it does show you the positive, the negative, and the signal and everything. So just make sure everything is plugged in accordingly. But the bottom port is going to be for the glow driving system, the ground, and the power. But the top port is going to be either your direct power supply or on option B, which we're going to look at in the next video series, your switch supply. So, um, take into consideration the orientation, guys, of your plugins. Uh, the ground wire is going to be on the left, so it's going to go black, red, auxiliary, or white, or whatever um, thing that it is that you're using, okay? And then I went ahead and I put the ground on the bottom of the motor. I just kind of fastened it here. Also with the ground, um, since it's uh, what is it? It's a crimped, a crimped wire. Pay close attention to how the crimp is, because if you put it on backwards, you'll actually smash the crimp. So let me see if I can get that in there. Okay. So make sure that's all installed. Again, guys, mine's outside of a machine. If yours is inside, um, 
your wiring schematics might be just a little bit different, but uh, the basic principle still exists, okay? So what I'm going to go ahead and do, so let's assume that this was all plugged in, right? This was installed into a machine. And again, guys, this is setup A, the basic right out of the box. Um, and I powered up my helicopter, got everything ready to go. Boom. So when you provide power to your machine, again, let's let's assume that this is done through the fly barless system or receiver. Let's kind of ignore the, the bulky pack at this point in time. Um, but to be fair, you guys could install a separate pack on your machine specifically for glow driving if you really wanted to. Um, that seems a little bit excessive to me, but but hey, you know, do whatever you want to do. So the system itself will indicate, let's actually, let's see if we can get a zoom in here. Um, the system will indicate a blue flashing LED basically at all times. That just means the system's on, it's armed, okay? Now a couple of the safety features that this system has, let's go ahead and let's, let's say it, uh, it doesn't detect a full circuit or even potentially our glow plug isn't, um, I don't know, connected well enough, or there's, there's an issue at, at any point in time, right? So let's say I try to drive the glow. I'm going to hold this right here, and I'm going to push the start button, okay? Notice what the system does. Okay? Basically going, error, error, right? It's not working. Look at the LEDs here. It won't, it won't ignite the system because at this point in time, again, I'm, I'm ground to the motor, but I'm not completing the circuit because this isn't contacting the motor at all, right? So do that one more time. If you hear that sound at any point in time um, while you're trying to start your motor, you know there's an issue, whether it's between the glow, pug, uh, glow plug sorry, or the ground, okay? Now, to demonstrate how the glow system is going to work, Take in mind, this can be programmed as well. It's got a programmable menu where you'll hold down the set button and provide power. Um, you'll have to be able to, uh, you can do like, a, I think it's 10, 15, or 30 seconds for your glow time. Um, and a bunch of other parameters, which again, we'll get into those in options B, C, and D. This is A, right out of the box, it's simple, right? So, right now my glow's not working. Okay, but if I go ahead and complete the circuit and connect this to the frame again in most cases this would be inside the motor but we won't be able to see the glow ignite okay so I'm just gonna set this here and I think it's I think it's defaulted for 10 seconds so let's go ahead and let's push the button here oh nope that one didn't work hang on let's try that again there we go Okay, so I think that was about 10 seconds maybe. Um, be careful guys, because this does get hot. So in that particular event there, as long as you hear that, that buzzing or that tone, you know that you can crank the motor. Um, once the tone shuts off, of course, the glow then unignites, and then you'd have to push the button again. And then it just goes back to its steady blue light, right? So right now I'm unconnected, it won't ignite. So let's do this one more time. Let's see if we can get a good close up on this. Like I said, I think it goes for about 10 seconds. Um, let's see, boom. I'm just going to con uh, contact the casing right there, okay? And let's go ahead and let's push the button. So we're getting ready to start our motor. And it turns off. So I want to say that's about 10 seconds. Um... And then you just, you know, you assume your normal operation of things. So that's going to be the quick and simple out of the box, guys, for the X-Glow Pro Igniter. Um, if you want to just throw it on the machine, again, either provide your own power source or patch it in um, off of an alternative power source. Ooh, that's hot. Um, and you'll use that, the top part for that. And then uh, follow along in the next couple of video series, guys. We're going to get into options B. C and D and get a little more advanced. I'm actually uh, personally really excited over the switching option. So I want to be able to toggle it with my, my radio switch. That's going to be cool. So stay tuned. Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And remember, my friends, if Freddy can fly, so can you. Mm -hmm.